This is like Drummond Road heading towards Priestman Street. This is where I grew up as a child. On the right here there's a school now. Atlas Primary School. But this used to be a row of streets and I used to live just at the bottom on the corner. I remember this as a child right on the corner of Priestman Street, right there. There used to be a shop. Yeah, there used to be a shop right on this corner. I remember going there as a five, six year old. Yeah, and there used to be a little entrance just about there going right into Salt Street. This here is of course Priestman Street and all these houses well there were streets terraced houses before that they were all knocked down and these new houses built <coughs> but on this side you've still got the old houses that they've been renovated a little bit new windows nice gardens and this one here in particular beautiful garden here and this is looking down Priestman Street And I remember coming to this corner shop as a child with my dad. It used to be a hairdresser's. And we have the back entrance to Atlas Primary School. But in my younger days, there used to be a through road going right across onto White Abbey Road, Wetley Hill area. there towards Green Lane there used to be a shop here called Salim's shop and here coming up we have Salt Street But there is Green Lane area, you got Salt Street. Here we are looking up Salt Street. There used to be a big great big flats around here, got knocked down, new houses now built. Yeah, there used to be a big tall flats here. Where do you see this new house? Yeah, and here. And that's the original, original Salt Street going up all that way. Yeah, this was the back of Salt Street. This here. Beautiful row of old houses. Childhood memories in these streets and in these houses, and I used to live right at the top there. That's the bottom. I just walked up here. Nice row houses on the left, and as I approach the end, the top right of Salt Street, this green fence in my childhood was a row of three houses. Yeah, and my house stood on this corner where you see the black car. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so our house used to be right on that corner there. Yeah, this green patch of 
land. There used to be three houses which they knocked down because uh, the corner house got burned down in 1973. This used to be a scrapyard. There used to be a wall going all the way down, all the way down to the back of Salt Street. And there used to be a, a scrapyard or something. And we used to be able to walk along this pathway. And over there on the left you could you can get Southfield Square. Whoop, there we are. I used to be there some houses on this patch of land. And there across there on the right is entrance to Southfield Square. Here we are. This is back of Southfield Square. Going down all the way and it meets up with Lum Lane. One of the first mosques in Bradford was actually here. Through this entrance there used to be a shop there which is now Converted back into a house. Yeah, the first mosque used to be just a little further down on the right. On the left here used to be a school. I think it was a primary school or something called Grosvenor. Grosvenor School or something here. Not got knocked down. Years ago, it's a big field now, play area for children. And on the right there, you can just about see that yellow and blue sign for the mosque, which is probably one of the first mosques in Bradford. There it is. Central Jamia Mosque. And that there is Lum Lane at the end. There we are at Lum Lane. Going down Lum Lane here. I've just walked along there. This is the front of Southfield Square there. And I've crossed the road over, so we're on the other side of the road going down. So we're going down Long Lane. And there's the other entrance of Southfield Square. There, where it says SA Tutoring, is another entrance. And if you go around, you can come out of there. It's called Southfield Square because it's kind of a square. Yeah, there, I'm going down Long Lane. Yeah, that's Southfield Square. Little tunnel going all the way up to Salt Street. Yeah. Let's go down Long Lane. Right. Across there, what you see the new houses, there used to be a stairs going up. And then some shops at the top of the stairs. Let's cross over. Yeah, there used to be some stairs. I remember getting off on my, this bus stop as a kid and walking up the stairs. Across here is now a mosque. I think there used to be a school there at the time. Masjid now. And here Inspire Academy used to be a Bellevue school. I think it used to be Bell's school. Just around there. There we are looking down one lane. So cross the road just to have a look from this end, some road work going on. There, there used to be a post office up there where the new houses are. That's 
Greenland and here we are going down one lane so we've got that green lane there meeting onto Lum Lane and you've got that beautiful green fields on your right this is the famous Lum Lane the world famous Lum Lane I think it's been immortalised in several songs but this is it it used to be more famous back in the days. Well, there you can see Drummond Mill's chimney. Unfortunately, the rest of the mill got burned down a few years ago. Some of the shops along left hand side as you're going down towards town and this is where Drummond Mills used to be before it was burned down just cross the road so I can show you the shops on the left side as you walk, walk towards town and on the end you see the sweet centre the famous sweet centre yeah the famous sweet centre one of the first and oldest Asian eateries here in Bradford And if you carry on going down that road all the way down, you end up in town, into Westgate, with the infirmary fields on your right. But well, I'm not going to go that far, so I'm going to walk that way. Hope you enjoyed the trip, even though it was a trip down my memory lane. But even so, hope you've had a lovely trip. <laughs>